Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Magic Factory's latest release. This is the 135th scale Bradley M2A4 uh, infantry fighting vehicle. This is a three-in-one kit as well, so you can make three different versions out of this one kit. So uh, yeah, looks very good. As you can see, it's quite topical at the moment, the Bradley, it's been in the news a little bit. Again, this is the up-to-date version of this one. As you can see down in here, you've got your sort of classic one with the sort of tow missiles and everything else. Then we've got another one over here in the background, which is the more modern version, which has got the, um, I think it's like Hellfire missiles onto it, as well as obviously you can see at the top is the anti-drone technology as well. So you say really, really nice to see a brand new Bradley. That's the different versions you can do. So you can do three versions down in here and say you've got this one down in here with the anti-drone sort of technology for it the sort of more classic Bradley, if you like. And there's another version at the top, which I think is from a trade show. So running around on the box, here we go. You can see kit number for this one is 2004. Some more details all about it down in there. Got the QR codes if you want to zap them. So in the box, we are greeted by absolute stuffed. Lots and lots of stuff, as you can see down in here. So various things we're gonna to need to go through. So uh, literally, if we just empty them out, as you can see, it is absolutely round. We've got the hull. So uh, yeah, looks like it's all separately bagged, which is nice, keep them all safe. But as you can tell, there is absolute tons in this kit. It is the kit that keeps giving. And then down in here, and I must admit, it took my eye, link and link tracks, really nice as well. And we've got a good chunk of photo etch, which is always welcome. So, as always, we will start, though, down on the old instructions. So, as you can see, sprue call out. It's quite a few sprues down in here, so you might want to keep track of that. All right, so again, a couple of bits of photo etch. We've got the decals as well, so very nice off the bat. So, usual thing with this one, we're straight into the lower hull, working on down in here. So, we've got that sort of torsion bar suspension system. Looks like we've got separate... Uh, rubber outers to the wheels as well and then obviously we've got the actual drive sprockets and idlers as well right the way through so putting all this together and again you want to make sure which version you're doing so we do have two full versions there is three but technically there's two full versions uh, down in here as well so if you're going to be doing the normal one or you're going to be doing the shore ad one as well so uh, depending just on which one they've got different configurations so just make a note which one you're going for so with the underside complete and all of that is in there as well so again then obviously you can work on the actual lower hull flip it over some of the details going down in there we've got the vision ports things like that into the upper hull opening up some holes and then sandwiching it all together down in there like that and then obviously we've got a lot of the stowage equipment and all the bits as we know with armor extra armor plating and things like that all going on the outside so all the plating going down there we've got the engine cover going in at the front all the cowling grips and things like that all around here photo etch obviously making up to make over the top of some of the grills and various parts as well so all of those being fitted down in there, which is nice. And then you're starting to really go to town with it. So we've got all the extra armor bits going in, the collar working in down in here. So we've got the driver's uh, cupola with all of those ones down in there and all the lumps and bumps you might imagine tons of it on tanks right the way through then we've got the rear with the rear stowage bins and bits and pieces down in there we've got the rear door and again depending on which version you're doing so keep an eye out make sure you get the right one all the way through all right and then we've got this which is really nice to see link and length tracks it just saves a lot of time with this one and as you can see it's only in one two three four five six seven eight nine bits so that should be nice and straightforward to go through with all of those. So they'll go down in there and like that. Then all the other lumps and bumps, so you've got your lights, the various bits on the outside. Then obviously we've got the reactive armor being fitted down onto this one as well. So we've got all of that being placed right the way over it and the plates on the side right the way through. Then we're up into the turret. So we're working onto that fantastic Bushmaster cannon down on there, the 30 millimeter. And then obviously all of those being fitted down with the armor plating and the other bits. All the hatches can be open or closed as well. So you can display those. I think they are movable anyway. All right. And again, lots of extra armor and various bits going onto this one right the way over as you can see. And again, depending on which version you're doing. So if you're doing the sort of, you know, the anti uh, drone one, or you've got the normal version there is differences between them all right so just keep an eye out for these tow missiles as well which is quite nice because we've got the full launchers actually in the boxes as well so that's a nice touch right the way through and then obviously we've got these blown so if you want the tow missile in the firing position in the up or you could have it folded down 
Canon being fitted on the front. And then again, depending on which versions you're doing for the other versions as well, right the way through. So this is the sort of anti-drone bits and pieces that are gonna be fitted down onto here. And again, I think there's a Hellfire missile down in here somewhere as well. So there we go, a couple of Hellfire missiles on the rack as well, if you really wanna up arm it. All right, down in there. And again, we've got the Stinger missile. So we've got a quad launcher Stinger missile system can be fitted one or the other. So you can either have it a Stinger or with Hellfire down in there if you really want to go to town with it with obviously the anti-drone technology down on there as well. Again, really nice because it is all completely bang up to date. So you've got colour callouts for this one down in here. So as you can see, you've got the sort of normal one. This is obviously from the Washington uh, DC show, I assume, BA Systems one, showing it off down in there in 2017. All right, and then this is the modules, depending on which one you're going to go for, Hellfire, Stinger Missile type setup, and all the rest of it. So again, we've got the Tri-Camo system down in there as well. Really nice to see that one. And again, some other ones with different armor. Obviously, the reactive armor is obviously in the sand color. Well, we've got one over here, which is pretty much a standard one as well, uh, which is 4th Squadron, 10th Cavalry, 3rd Armoured Division as well, 4th Infantry. So again, straightforward as well. So you've got some nice different ones down in there, depending which options you want to go with. Then we've got a nice little bag down in here, and the photo etch feels really thick, very heavy duty, which is what we want. So again, I think these are the cleats for the tracks down in here as well, but as you can see, very, very nice, and that's proper good chunky stuff and this one is uber thin it's not like one and done so again the grill work is absolutely fantastic very very nice indeed and again the cleating system over with the grills as well very very nice touch and then last up we've got the decals which again look pretty good good solid colors all the way through with that all right then whilst we're on the close up we'll go straight into the hull so on the top hull you can see pretty looks pretty bare just when they look like this but obviously everything gets added onto it but again some nice touches details we've got some anti-slip coating down on here as well into it you can probably see generally looks very nice indeed good chunky solid stuff I do like magic factory stuff and again Looking down in here on the underside, not forgotten about, nice bolt details all the way through. Some nice details down in here for the suspension and for the road wheels. So that looks very nice indeed. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab these. I know technically they're not in the right order, but you'll get the, the gist, all right? So have we got match pair with these two. So down in here, technically we've got the tracks, so looks nice and this is sprue h as you can see that actually does look very nice indeed good solid chunky so again what's nice although not fully i don't think i say i may be proven wrong but the tracks look really nice with the track pads all in there ready to go but we got these but i think the inner ring bit will be still be sort of metal but the rubber on the outside again some companies they do it where it's like an outer sleeve that just slips over it's slightly different on this one but uh, for the road wheels but again by the time you've weathered it up you won't see too much about it lovely detail down in here in the actual drive sprockets loads of bolt detail and the various parts looks very nice indeed so that's good and again separate tracks looking good Got the pads on the inside which i assume is you're going to have photo etch down in there so that all looks very nice indeed very cool Okay, so very nice. Okay, so the armor on this one, as you can see, this is just the normal skirt before the up armor goes on. Got all that gorgeous bolt detail, and it is very crisp and sharp. And the big thing is, as you can see, you catch it in the light, that looks really nice. But what's taken my eye is actually the anti slip on here looks proper in scale. That looks really, really nice. So some good details down on that one. If we have a look around elsewhere, again, all looks really very, very nice indeed. Good, strong, crisp, very nice. But the anti-slip looks absolutely gorgeous. Looks very, very nice. Like that, I've got it over on here as well. On the areas where it would have anti-slip, they've done it and it's molded in. Looks really, really good. Very nice. 
Okay, so. Working our way round, this is Sprue M. You can see, so this has got the actual reactive armor on here. And again, that anti-slip is pretty much where we'd all expect it to be. So that's really nice. And again, you can see down on here on the actual tiles, we've got the anti-slip in the middle of those ones, which is nice, anti-slip down on here. And again, we've got these plates as well for the actual reactive armor to go on. The actual cupola looks really nice. And again, those big bricks looking very nice as well. We've got the doors, we've got the rear, we've got actually the engine plate cover, things like that down in here. And again, looks really nice. But anti-slip is really taking my eye because it just looks good. And again, looks very nice, even on the blind side. All the ejector pins are just slightly sunk, which is nice, tucked out of the way. But I don't think we see any of those. Okay, over here we've got the main turret. So again, sprue I, as you can see, looks very nice indeed, generally. But again, look at the detail on the turret. Before it's got all the stuff onto it, looks very nice indeed. We've got the bottom, and again, these bolts, you know, with the hollowed out centers in there as well, looking very nice. All the parts, and obviously down in here, this is inside of the hatches. Really nicely detailed with the bolts on the inside and the bits and pieces. And again, right the way over, again, more anti-slip. The tow missiles, it's really nice. We've got the racks on the inside. Normally it's just a box, but no, it's fully detailed with the inside of the box as well. So again, good, clean, crisp, really very, very nice. Do like that. And then... Okay, so rear doors, as you can see. Looking very nice and again everything's just where you want it to be like the anti-slip the way that it's been molded in around all the parts and the things and all the different bits and these huge great plates for obviously having the clamps onto it and the various towing eyes and things like that look really nice generally it's just one of those which is it's a good solid crisp kit all the way through which looks very very good Okay, so next up we've got uh, Sprue O. Again, some of the smaller parts down in here. Again, the beautiful detail, the grab handles, the various small little parts down in here looking really good. We've got the light guards, things like that. All look very nice and crisp, even though down to all the tools and the actual uh, sort of tie down points and stuff like that, all looking really good. So again, just very, very crisp, all of those details. Okay, slightly bigger sprue. So, <clears throat> down in here we have sprue C, as you can see, looks very nice. And again, the detail is absolutely gorgeous on this. Very nice. Definitely a step up on the old Tamiya one. Although the old Tamiya one I've built lots of uh, and we've done lots of ones in the, the past with Bradleys and things like that, but you know, looks really nice. The Hellfire launcher as well, the details just down there and there look very, very nice. And again, the, the riveting is so crisp and so sharp when you run your finger over it, you can really feel it. It's not soft. So again, looking very nice indeed. Okay, what do we got? So, Sprue J. got which you probably move in a bit closer on the limit but there we go there we go it's brew j all the small parts again nice good crisp done the handles are beautifully done just down in here very nicely done all the small parts looking very nice indeed with all of those very good okay options time this is screw a so this has got those rear doors we've already seen some of them so obviously we've got the difference between the different versions so again, this is sprue A, and obviously with the rear doors. But again, the anti-slip coating, the various parts, the rear hull just down in there. That looks all very nice indeed. Okay, so down in here we've got the tiny, tiny working. So we've got the suspension dual sprue. So we've got two of these. So this is D. 
and again as you can see we've got the actual arms for the road wheels we've got sort of cleats and bolts and various things eyes all the various parts down on here more tracks again really very very nicely done indeed good sharp details all the way through we've also got okay we've got a little bit of rubber parts as well i was wondering where this is so we've got some more reactive armor around the cannon i do believe and then speaking of the witch i did wonder where it is there we go we've got the barrel we've got the coaxial uh the sort of engine mount uh, sorry the, the gun mount and the mantle the various parts and this is something i didn't expect we've actually got some rubber for the flaps mud flaps so again very nice indeed a little bit for the old uh, coaxial gun very nice with those and then we've got another pair down in here because it's one each so it's a match pair and this is obviously for the hellfire missile and obviously these are the anti-drone emitters i assume and various parts that looks really nice and crisp and then last up you won't want to get out you can see them we've got all the clear parts so very very nice indeed with all of those i love it i can't find a fault with it and do you know what i haven't built armor in a while and now i've really got an itch to scratch because i would build this kit in a heartbeat and i probably will do so watch out over the next few months you're going to see this one being built because actually it's very very nice now we did do a bradley not so long ago so well we did actually it's probably 10 years ago now so i definitely think it's due for an update but what i really like about this and you talk about inspiration kits give you inspiration and people talk about box art it's a thing of the past because no one shops I see the box art from that and I love it with the sort of uh, tri camo European camo with the actual with all the bricks and the different colors and things like that for the reactive armor in the sand I think that looks absolutely mega that looks very very cool indeed instead of just being boring sand all over it like we did the last time we could do something like that with the reactive armor in the sand I think would really look very very nice indeed so anyway I'm sold I think this is a great kit so there you have it. That's the Magic Factory's latest release. It's the 135th scale Bradley.